No single technology is the answer on its own, because every sector requires innovation to meet this moment. You know, this critical effort is going to propel the most impactful breakthroughs at home and around the world and lower the cost of, of what we're paying now for polluting the air so badly. We're going to move to net zero in a transition in all countries. And look, every country will need to invest in new clean energy technologies as we work forward and uh, to deal with net zero emissions. I am also very proud to announce that the United States is again becoming a key leader in mission innovation. We helped launch the program during the Obama Biden administration, a pact between the world's largest economies to, to ramp up investments in clean energy research and development. And today, America is once again stepping into the leadership role. We will be joining in a partner for the nations in efforts to decarbonize critical sectors across the board, including industrial sector, where we'll join with Sweden and India in, leadership, in the uh, leadership group for, in, for industry transition. The power sector, where we'll work alongside of the United Kingdom to spread progress and speed it up toward a carbon-free power system, both here and around the world. And in agriculture, the agricultural sector, where we'll launch the Agriculture Innovation Mission for Climate with the United, with, with United, Arab, United Arab Emirates and other partners. We also, I'm very heartened by President Putin's call yesterday for the world to collaborate and advance carbon dioxide removal. And the United States looks forward to working with Russia and other countries in that endeavor. It has great promise.